Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Patty Wagstaff supports preserving the Wright Brothers factory, a time capsule reveals a World War II treasure, Ego Aircraft Company is up for sale. I'm Brie Cross, it's October 12th, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Airshow legend Patty Wagstaff made her mark on aviation history by breaking gender barriers in aerobatic contests. Now Wagstaff has added her voice to those urging the restoration of America's first airplane factory, the Wright Company factory in Dayton. Wagstaff says in a new video filmed inside the historic but unrestored factory, quote, I'm completely honored to be standing here. I want to know what it was really like, and I think the only way you can do that is to make this place as real as it was and bring it back to its original space. The National Aviation Heritage Alliance introduced the video last week as part of its continuing campaign to save the historic buildings for use as a national park. The National Aviation Heritage Alliance is negotiating to buy the factory, several attached buildings and surrounding acreage from the current property owner. They have raised approximately $2 million towards a goal of $4 million to acquire the site and begin restoration. A pair of metal drums dating back to World War II that were donated to the Commemorative Air Force were opened earlier this week and the contents proved to be an exciting find. The drums contained two Norden bomb sites, a device that helped change the course of the war. CF curator Keegan Chetwind told TV station KTVT that the type of container donated to the group was a type that contained airplane parts. He is quoted as saying, we knew that we were going to pull something interesting out of these containers. Among those present at the unsealing was John Lucky Luckadoo, who had been a B-17 pilot during the war. He said that seeing the bomb sites took him right back to the cockpit. Luckadoo said that it is his hope that these devices serve as an educational tool to remind the younger generations of the price paid by those who fought in World War II. After the break, Ego Aircraft could not make a go of it. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. In another testament as to how difficult it can be to make it in the light aircraft business, Ego, a UK company that developed a single-place unregulated aircraft for the European market, has announced it is closing and is up for sale. In a media newsletter, Ego said it had secured funding for the creation of the prototype aircraft, but the shareholder interest generated was insufficient, coupled with the unsure financial market following Brexit. Although there has been some interest from the UK and overseas, no deal has been struck. The company said their board believed that the way forward was to secure a buyer for the company and a sales memorandum was issued to a number of potential parties. The company now seeks an individual or organization to consolidate and develop other variants of the airplane for which we anticipate there will be strong international demand. With some 2000 Aero TV programs webcast to cyberspace, sometimes it can be fun to look back and enjoy some of the places we've seen, the flyers we've met and the planes we've flown. Here's a look at one of our favorite Aero TV classic episodes. It's a lot of fun to operate. When you have something fun that's efficient to do, it seems to be making a lot of sense in Napa right now. So we're going to expand looking at further high value crops. And in those parcel of lands, it makes sense for something that has the payload capacity of the RMAX, you know, which is basically 60 pounds. When you watch this video, you'll see something about crop dusting you may not have seen before. Yamaha has created a drone helicopter that is specifically designed for special purpose crop dusting. It's fun to watch this thing go to work. Search Yamaha Remotely Piloted Helos on Aero TV's news channel. After these messages, the first Falcon 8X is delivered. 
Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Explore no limits flying in the FAA certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA. One of the top three best selling LSAs in the U.S., Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Dassault Aviation has delivered its first Falcon 8X, marking the entry into service of the company's new ultra-long-range flagship. Amjet Executive took delivery of the aircraft and is now the first company to operate the Falcon 8X. Aspen Avionics has announced that it has received certification to interface their Evolution 1000 Pro primary flight display with the System 55X Autopilot by Genesis Aerosystems. The STC will cover hundreds of light single and twin piston aircraft platforms. According to market analysts, a downturn in the oil and gas industry may affect Lockheed Martin's Sikorsky helicopter division. It's reported that the oil and gas industry may make investment cuts, and about 25% of the global helicopter fleet serves this industry sector. The International Air Transport Association is organizing a conference for aviation safety experts to advance safety management. The event will allow safety management stakeholders to collaborate for the improvement of both safety management systems and state safety program implementation. A new FAA remote pilot and small unmanned aircraft system study guide is now available in print and in ebook PDF format from ASA. The study guide lays out the knowledge areas required for preparing to take the FAA remote pilot knowledge test. Well, that's the trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. This week, nearly 10 years after he was killed in combat operations in Iraq, U.S. forces brought home the remains of F-16 pilot Major Troy Gilbert, who died saving the lives of U.S. service members and coalition allies. On November 27, 2006, Gilbert and his wingman were flying back to base when they got the call that an AH-6 Little Bird helicopter had been shot down. Enemy insurgents had the crew, along with the coalition forces called into support, outnumbered and pinned down. Two F-16 pilots charged into the battle despite dealing with the challenges of low fuel. Gilbert's plane crashed while providing ground cover for the trapped troops, but his actions resulted in the U.S. ground forces' survival. Through a complex process that has been ongoing since his death, Major Gilbert's remains have been recovered and returned to the United States. General Robin Rand, Air Force Global Strike Command commander, said in part, quote, No doubt his actions on November 27, 2006 illustrate greatness, but those actions that day aren't what made him great. What made him great was his commitment to adhere in every facet of his life to our three treasured core values of integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. We'll see you tomorrow.